Hey guys, it's Tech Racer and today we're going to do another different type of video. So today we're going to update our GTS 2 Mini to the latest software update. Now the best thing about this software update is that uh, as they have promised, they have now integrated the Alexa into the GTS 2 Mini. So recently, yesterday I received an update for the watch uh, and uh, the update includes the Alexa integration onto the watch. As we know that the watch has a microphone uh, on the back side. But due to some reasons, the update disabled Alexa on the watch. But now we have an official update which includes the integration of Alexa onto the watch. So let's quickly try to update the watch. So I have basically disconnected the watch because uh, I wanted you guys to see the update procedure. So I'll just, as you can see, update failed. So I'm going to simply connect uh, the watch again. So as you can see, it's connecting. So let's wait for a while and it should automatically start updating the watch itself. So let it connect the watch. So I'll just wait for a while as you can see synchronizing. Okay, so all data has been synchronized. So let's quickly go to profile and uh, under the device simply scroll down as you can see system update and here we have the red dot and it automatically started uh, updating the watch as you can see it's now transferring the system update. So simply wait for a while and uh, let it update the watch. Okay, so the system update is successful as you can see we recently got a message onto the display So as the watch has been updated successfully and again paired back with my phone So let's quickly scroll up and see what are if there are system updates So no new updates are available and now let's quickly go to about the device So the system version is 1.0.2.31. So this is the latest system update for the GTS 2 mini So now let's get back to our watch and see the Alexa integration and what are the other features which are available So guys the watch has been successfully updated So first of all let's get back to our phone because the Alexa won't work directly First of all we have to configure it on our Zep app then we can use it on our watch So first of all simply go to Zep app and let it synchronize with your watch Make sure the watch is connected to the phone and as you synchronizing the help data so until then simply go to profile simply scroll up until you see add accounts and under add accounts you will see amazon alexa so simply tap on it click on agree and now you have to simply log in with your amazon account so if you have an amazon app which is already logged in with your amazon account so simply tap on login with amazon and simply authorize the account so it will connect your amazon account with the zip app so as you can see now it here it's showing sign out so it means that my Amazon account is connected with the Zep and now we are ready to uh, check out the Alexa on the watch. So let's quickly go back to our watch. So first of all, let's find out where the Alexa is. So simply go to menu, scroll up until you see more and under more as you can see Alexa over here. So let's open Alexa, connecting to Alexa. And yeah, Alexa is listening. So it means that we have successfully configured with our phone. So let's try out few commands uh, with the watch. So first of all, open Alexa. What's the weather like? So it did show the result as you can see, basically the watch does not have any dedicated speakers. So it won't be able to talk back to the commands that you push onto the Alexa, but it can uh, show you the results uh, on the display. So that's pretty nice thing. So let's again, try out few more. What is the height of Mount Everest? Okay, so it did work. Who is the Prime Minister of India? Okay, so most of the commands or uh, all of the commands are going to work on the watch. Basically what's happening behind the scene is that basically watch is listening to your commands, sending those commands to the Amazon Alexa configured account and uh, account is sending back the results to the watch because the watch cannot directly connect to the internet so it's using your phone as an intermediator. So yeah, uh, oh, quite nice addition to the existing watch because the watch itself is a quite good uh, but uh, adding this Alexa gave it a more better touch so again that's pretty nice thing so this is pretty much it for this video guys if you found this video really helpful then do that like button subscribe button and stay tuned for more such videos so thank you guys thanks for watching. Oh, 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 oh,